Today is, everybody know what today is? There's all these, these, all this, all these national holidays. Today is, today is national. Best friend day. Yes. Boy, we got an educated crew. Y'all don't mess around. Yeah, we party, man, but we smart, you know. You can't get a, that's right, today is a national best friend day, you know. And I started thinking, you know how sometimes you just contemplate things and you wonder, you know, if, if your best friend is, you know, if his name is Richard, you know, if he really pisses you off, do you call him by his nickname? Okay, well, we have a really cerebral crowd here laughing inside. That's okay. Anybody like popcorn? Yes. I think it's that time of year. I think it's that time of year for popcorn. It's just, the only thing about popcorn is that you can't, uh, you can't be cool when you're eating popcorn, you know? Popcorn always takes away my cool, you know, because it, you know, if it's good, you, you know, you're smacking a little bit. And uh, those, uh, you know, and if you make it and you microwave it, it's easy to burn, right? You ever been at work in some place and you're microwaving the popcorn and you cook it just a little bit too long? And everybody's like, who burned the popcorn? David burned the popcorn. You're not cool anymore, man. People think of you as that burnt microwave popcorn stink. And that's how they think about you when you burn the popcorn. I just put mine on two minutes and then, you know, I keep checking. I undercook my popcorn. Even if I gotta burn, break my teeth on the heart, you know. But then you're chewing the popcorn, right? What happens? You, you get those shells in your teeth. And, and you know, you could, you could do the tongue push for a while, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but then after a while, you go for the finger, you know. You hope you know what he's looking, but you're just like, ah, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you put your finger. You realize you don't have any fingernails, so it's to no avail. But what's really good is if you're in a movie theater in the dark, because if you're really, really hungry, you know you got your buzz on and everything, and you're coming home with it. You really want to get down with it. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you just want to pound the hunger away. You want the hunger to go away as soon as possible. And it's just like popcorn, popcorn. You know, but you can't do it in front of people and look like a civilized human being, right? You grab a fistful, you're like, ah, and you, you're not going to hit the target. I mean, you, you're going to drop it. There's going to be popcorn that's going to drop. You're going to look like a mongrel. You know, you look at that guy with the popcorn. Yeah. The best time to do popcorn is in the theater when it's dark. You know, when you just take the box and you. Just go for it that way. I saw this chick, she was like, uh, you know, it's been really hot lately, obviously. And I started realizing, you know, I'm always trying to circulate, thinking of ideas on how to make a really good impression with women. And I saw it, I found it. I was just walking around. I was going to, uh, going to the store and she was in the shade. It was like 90 degrees. She was in the shade, you know what she was doing? It looked like she was like, have an orgasmic pleasure. She had a spoon <laughs> going in her mouth of haagen ice cream. She had a pint, a pint, and she was in bliss. I mean, her eyes were like rolling back, and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna have to do that. Get the haagen -Dazs. But then I started thinking about that. What if you go on your first date, you know, and it's a haagen date, and you find out that she's lactose intolerant. She farts, okay. She's lactose intolerant, she farts. But the hot weather also brings out, I turn on, I don't have AC in my apartment. So I have to turn off all the lights to get it cool. So I have like one or two lights that's kind of up on the ceiling. And guess what that brings out? That brings out the spiders. They're trying to get to the light. So I saw one on the ceiling. By applause, do we have any folks here that, uh, I won't say kill, I'll just say, do we have folks here that uh, 
exterminate a spire, uh, spiders if the need arises, or by applause? Yeah. Wait. Okay, so, okay. Okay, PETA is here, okay. I don't know if PETA covers insects, right? But come on, I mean, Mother Teresa kills flies. Come on, when nobody's looking. I just think so. Right, come on. Because it, there's something about spiders that, t that kind of give a chill up your spine, you know? You're thinking, those things are really sneaky. And if I don't get it, you know, you look around and then it's moved. And you go, it's gonna get me when I'm sleeping. So I've got to kill it before it kills me. I'm going to finish on the president a little bit. There was something that was in the news today, kind of circulating the internet. Anybody heard of the term? Let's see, yam, yama miso. Now I'm really going to test this crowd now. Answer whatever to do. Yama miso. Yama miso is a Japanese term. What's happening in uh, Japan right now is there's, uh, God, there's an abundance of uh, single, male, heterosexual dudes in their 30s who have never married and never had sex. They are virgins, folks. Virgins. So the president being kind of international guy, kind of heard about this and trying to do something to address this in the form of a national policy. Thank you. Thank you. People of the world, Portland, Oregon, my brothers and sisters here tonight at the Good Foot. This is our moment. This is our time. There's no challenge we cannot meet. It's something for comedy we can't believe in. For we're faced with impossible odds of making you laugh, <laughs> closing, going last. Here, people say, you're not ready. Can't be done. There's a condition happening around the world. We're concerned about our brothers in Japan, and we are going to have a natural response to Yamamiso. Yamamiso is heterosexual Japanese men who have not had sex yet, who are not married. We're doing something unique and innovative here. So tonight we are recruiting homosexual men looking for a love connection who may want to help men in Japan maybe realize that they're not truly really heterosexual. There might be another dimension to their sexuality. We're taking volunteers for that tonight. We have some hands going up. Okay, we'll take the names down. We'll get you over there. And we're also having women who have a unique opportunity. Now that the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, have a, has approved female Viagra. Female Viagra. So we have some women who will hopefully be ready for the challenge and step up, as well as the gentlemen. And we're going to call this new organization here tonight, born at the Good Foot. It is called American Bed Cross. America Bed Cross. You are here tonight to make history, and those of you who are willing to step up to the challenge, no pun intended, we'll, set, we'll take your names and we'll, we'll make it happen so we can help our Asian brothers in Japan who deal with so much grief and adversity. So thank you, uh, gentlemen who raised your hand and ready to go, and, uh, and women who are uh, going to get that pill and start feeling themselves and want to make a greater contribution to America, foreign policy.
It's your opportunity to not hear with a good foot. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America.